don't usually eat breakfast, so I am gonna go light today. I might just get bread. Let's see how it is, because Asian bread is usually really good. Let's get bread and then a drink in the back. So I got two bread. So this is savory and I've always loved this growing up. It's like a scallion spring onion bread. And then this is really interesting. It's a pineapple croissant. So you know those typical like pineapple buns, but instead it's a croissant. I feel like I've had my fair share of good croissants. So let's see how this holds up. Sweet potato. I love sweet potato. Like, I used to come home after school and I would bake sweet potatoes as dessert. It's my favorite. And look how cute this packaging is. It has like all the steps that I went through. And of course, chocolate milk. Fun fact about me is that growing up, I drank chocolate milk every morning. Like, since I was probably six or seven, I had chocolate milk every day until college. <laughs> Like even now, I buy myself iced chocolate almost every time I go to a cafe. Without further ado, let's start. I think I should start with this one. Because it's savory. This is the one I got. Mm. It tastes just how it looks. It's pretty decent. Let's try this one. I'm kind of scared about this one. I really hope it's okay. I feel like my standards for croissants have gone like this high. Oh, there's a really strong aroma when you open the bag. It's like really sweet. I expected there to be a crunch, but it's not crunchy. But mm -mm. I'm so excited! You would think that if you drink something every day, you wouldn't be excited about it, but I don't know. Like, I always get really happy drinking chocolate milk. Okay. This is the chocolate milk in question. Mmm! I'm gonna give a really Asian compliment. It's rich and not too sweet. Really good. Like it doesn't taste cheap. It says that it's from France. The chocolate powder is from France. Lastly, sweet potato. The only thing about sweet potato is that it's such a hassle to eat. Like my hands are gonna get so sticky after this. It looks promising. It looks real promising. When I want to see if sweet potato is sweet, the color has to be like slightly dark yellow. When it's really bright yellow, it's like not that sweet. Mm. It's sweet. It's so good. Alright, see you guys for lunch. From a legit restaurant, Ganbei. It's a really a Japanese barbecue place. 
and then this. It's from a hotel. Wow. Ooh, that's from Regent. Hey, shout out to Kristen Pan. Oh, that's the restaurant in the outlet. To be really real with you guys right now, I'm really craving instant noodles. Obviously, we need a drink to go and have food. I'm feeling something refreshing. It's on me. Okay. I'm back. I'm at home though because I wanted to eat comfortably. So I bought this barbecue pork grill rice ball and Oh wow, he added the seasoning for me. That's really nice. Okay, he opened this for me, I'm assuming, so that it's like easier to heat. Let's see how this tastes. Barbecue pork grill rice ball from Dembe. I'm really excited about this one. Dembe is always good. Okay, okay, look at that. It's like a bit char grilled. Onigiri. That looks really promising. Mmm. It smells really good. Mm. I haven't gone to the meat yet, but it's really good so far. Mm. <laughs> if you gave this to me, like not wrapped, I would probably think it's like fresh. It's really good. You can't tell that it was frozen. This is what it looks like. This Gembe Onigiri, 10 out of 10. Very good. I highly recommend. I'm thirsty. This is Xian Tao Mi. I drink this almost every time I come back. It's just so refreshing. So herbal jelly is meant to be very jianghuo, which means it kind of like cools your body. And if you're eating spicy food or like fried food, it's meant to make you feel better. I don't really know if this does that because it's clearly like processed drink, but I like to think it does. Well, this one. This is a gua bao. Wait, put me. Oh. This is almost ready. Okay. Let's quickly eat this. Okay. But, wow. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is really good. The pork and the sun tai really balances it out. I know it's just instant noodles, but I'm really excited to eat it. Why is this better than I remember it to be? I don't know. Mm. This is still so good. It has the perfect balance between spice and flavor. This lunch is honestly so much better than I expected. I wasn't sure what I was gonna eat, but my appetite really came once I <laughs> opened up these things because it's just so flavorful, it smells so good and very umami. The onigiri is a 10 out of 10. The gua bao is, I'd say like a 8 out of 10. It's pretty obvious that it's not made fresh because of the, the bun and just like the meat, but it's still really good. And the instant noodle, 10 out of 10. What should I eat? It is the Hei 
椒、铁板猪。That's pretty good. Oh, so hot. They separated it. It's like this. I hope it's good. Oh. It's really good. Hmm. If you served this to me at a restaurant, I wouldn't think that it was frozen or like refrigerated before. It tastes fresh. I rate this 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. It is guava green tea. I've never even seen this before, so let's try this. Mm. It tastes just a tad artificial though. This definitely has to be a Taiwan special because it's guava. I'm very satisfied with this. Let's go get a midnight snack! I'm back with dessert. This is strawberry froyo. See if it's good. Oh, it tastes like yakko. Interesting. This is my favorite yogurt in the entire world. So why I love this so much is because they have huge ass fruits in here. Let me show you guys. And not only does it have fruits, it also has ju ru. This is, this is the ju ru. Mm. Mm. Yes. Actual orange fruit. Mm. Usually yogurt tastes like, doesn't taste like a dessert or snack to me because it's just like, it just feels too healthy. This does the job though. Very yummy. I think about this a lot actually when I'm in Sydney. There's nothing like this. All right, that concludes my 24 hours at convenience store. If you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.